Born in 1550 at Merchiston, near Edinburgh, Scotland, he was the eighth Napier of Merchiston. In 1563, he enrolled at St Salvatore's College, but his stay was short. Napier spent his leisure time studying mathematics, particularly devising methods of facilitating computation. He began his most famous work, Logarithms, in approximately 1594. John Napier died on April 4, 1617, at the age of 67, at his home in Merchester. Napier made many contributions to mathematics in the development of Napier's bones, a forerunner of the slide rule, exponential expressions for trigonometric functions, and was the first who used and popularised the decimal point to separate the whole number from the fractional part. His most significant contribution, however, was the invention of logarithms to simplify large-scale calculations which were occurring in at the time, particularly in astronomy. Napier's definition of logarithms considered two objects travelling along parallel lines. Line 1 was of infinite length and line 2 was of a fixed length. These two objects would start from the same position moving horizontally at the same time with equal starting velocity. The object on line 1 travelled with a uniform velocity and covered equal distances in equal times. This formed an arithmetic series. The on line 2 and its velocity was proportional to the distance remaining. This formed a geometric series. At any moment, the distance not yet covered on line 2 was the sine. The first distance on line 1 was the logarithm of the sine. The key, however, was that these signs decreased in geometric proportion and the logarithms increased in arithmetic proportion. then generated numerical data for a table which would embody this relationship. He computed values for this table based on the sine of each minute of arc. Napier's early logarithms are very little like today's. Shortly after the invention of logarithms, a joint effort between Napier and Henry Briggs created logarithms of base 10. These represent the first common logarithms. Napier laid the groundwork for the limits of his logarithms and used this to formulate tables of value from which calculations could be based as his core contribution to mathematics. Logarithms would act as a shortcut for exponents and multiplication and division, taking away these operations and replacing them with addition, subtraction and divisions of two or three, which greatly reduced computational time. This allowed mathematicians to explore deeper into the fields of mathematics, astronomy and other sciences. This reduced the amount of working required for calculations leading to faster proofs and discoveries of famous astronomers like Tycho Brahe and Johannes Kepler who were making revolutionary discoveries in the exploration of the solar system. Like Kepler's formulation of mathematical laws of planetary motion. Also, famous physicist Isaac Newton would have had a much harder time proving his groundbreaking theories without it. Logarithms are used in many areas of modern mathematics, like number theory, and due to their basis in the relationship between arithmetic and geometric progressions, many scientific scales apply their use. These include the brightness of stars, acidity and basidity, Mohs scale of hardness in minerals, and the Richter scale. The most key area in which logarithms are used presently is in calculus. The natural log, developed later from Napier's ideas, embodies the inverse of e to the x, which is useful in operations involving differentiation of curves and modelling the curves themselves. As logarithmic functions can be used to track change over time for supply and demand in economics, tracking growth rates in populations, and in the social sciences. Napier's invention of logarithms and its involvement in calculus has gone on to be an underlying tool in many areas of mathematics due to its ability to simplify calculations and model the behaviour of real-life phenomena. Areas of such include rocketry, fractals, entropy and chaos calculations. <laughs>